Welcome to Addicted to Real Estate TV. On today's episode, we're going to talk about take your time back. So stick around and you're going to find out what I'm talking about. To say you got to know somebody or know somebody to get somewhere these days. To say you know that talk about you. Hi, I'm Phil Falcone, your host of Addicted to Real Estate TV. Today's episode was sponsored by Executech Suites Answering Service, where live receptionists, that's right, humans, answer the phone in the name of your company and patch the calls to you. ABC Painting Company, how can I help you? Would you like to talk to John Smith? Let me see if I can get him. And then they call John Smith and they ask him if he'd like to take the call from this particular person. So we screen all the calls for you. We even give you a voice mailbox for only $99 a month. And here's the best part. No contracts. That's right. You can try it out for a couple of months or as many years as you like. That's the price. No contracts. Cancel at any time. Executech Suites answering service. All right. So today's episode is about taking your time back. What do I mean by that? If you have a full-time job, for example, it's pretty hard to find real estate. You can't be out making real estate deals all day long because your time is essentially 40 hours a week. You have to be at your job, at your full-time job. So when I say take your time back, by being an entrepreneur, by being in charge of your own destiny and running your own business, I have all the time in the world to go look for real estate deals, for example, if that's what you want to do. But I want to go into it deeper than that, all right? What I do with my time every day is very important, okay? Because even if you don't have a job, your time can be taken away from you, and you have to take your time back. So here's what I'm talking about. People call me asking for appointments all the time. They want to meet with me to discuss various things, okay? The answer to most of those is no, okay? If it can be accomplished through email or on the telephone, let's do it right now and get it over with. Find out what it is you want to talk about. Get quick to the point because here's what my real plan is all about every day. I wake up in the morning with one plan and one plan only. It's a question I ask myself. What is going to make me the most amount of money right now today? And then that is the thing that I'm going to do that day. I purposely don't have a plan. I purposely try to keep my schedule wide open. So every day is an adventure because I really don't know where I'm going to end up or what's going to happen. I might end up pulling over a mailman and asking him for addresses that are vacant in a neighborhood. I might just uh, take a list of leads that are sitting on my desk and follow up on them. Because in my business, at least in my business, the best way for me to answer that important question, which is what is going to make me the most money today? is to go out and find real estate deals. And how am I going to do that? I've got to be sitting at a kitchen table in front of a seller. They're on one side, I'm on the other. They're the seller, I'm the buyer. That's how I buy houses. That's how I make my money. I get paid when I buy houses. So I have to be in front of these people or I'm not going to make any money. So my focus is on finding deals. All right, That's my main focus. If I can find a deal every week that I can close, that's 52 deals a year. I'm making a lot of money if I can meet that goal. And it's not so easy to do, but that's what I try to do every single day I wake up. Okay, On any given day, I truly don't have a clue where I'm going to end up. I might have an idea that I'm going to be up in one of my offices. I have several offices. I, I have an idea that I'm going to be at this office or be at that office, but the main focus of every day is always the same thing. What is going to make me the most money today? And in my particular business, that typically is being in front of sellers. But there's obviously exceptions to that rule. Let me give you an example. I was down the shore. Uh, I got a place down the shore, and I was down there over the weekend for a long weekend. And one of the things I like to do for fun is I like to ride my bicycle. And uh, you would think that that's a very relaxing thing that I do. I ride my bike and, you know, cool. Uh, it's totally about real estate. Now, you wouldn't think uh, that riding your bike could be about real estate. But guess what you do when you're on your bike? Number one, I purposely go up and down streets that I've never been on before. Why? Because you explore areas, you learn about the area better, you find different neighborhoods that you never thought of or things that you never saw just driving on the main roads. 
Guess what else you find? Fizbo signs. For sale by owner. I love those babies, okay? I pull over for every Fizbo sign I ever see, all right? I pull out my phone and I snap a picture of the sign with the house in the background. That's all I do. Then I get back on my bike because health before wealth. The bike is really about health, okay? Wealth is about the Fizbos. So what I do is I snap a picture of a particular house and then later on when I get back from my bike ride, I'll download them. I took one bike ride uh, each day I was down the shore, and on one day I found four different deals in one day, okay? And, uh, you know, it's funny how things happen. I got my I Buy Houses truck down there. A woman came up to me at a Wawa and told me about her house. It was in a neighborhood in West Wildwood. And uh, I never really been to West Wildwood. It's kind of like a very isolated neighborhood. So I decided to ride my bike there the next day. I rode my bike to West Wildwood, and then I went around a bunch of different neighborhoods that I hadn't ridden my bike around before, and I came home with four or five addresses. And, uh, you know, I'm, I've already called some of them back, and one of them is going to be a short sale opportunity, and I've already got, uh, I gave a referral to a short sale guy I work with, and I'm going to make a couple grand off of that. So my little bike ride not only burned calories and strengthened my legs and helped with my tan, it's also helping my bottom line of my net worth, which is very important, okay? What is all this really about? It's about attitude, all right? My attitude is what's making all this happen. I'm not afraid to knock on doors. I'm not ashamed to drive around with a truck that has 18 inch high letters that say, I buy houses. I'm not uh, nervous about going up to people's lawns, snapping a picture of their signs. And if I think they're home, needless to say, I'm knocking on the door, you have to. I hate to interrupt my bike ride, but Certainly when I'm driving in my car, if I see a FISBO sign, get right out, knock on the door. In my car, I got my business cards that say I buy houses. I got my notices that say I own a company that buys houses in this neighborhood. Give me a call. You, you, you have got to have those notices with you all the time. Got to have the business cards with you all the time. But more importantly, got to have the attitude. The attitude that I love what I'm doing. I'm going to get rich if I could just find some more of these houses to buy. So positive fearless attitude, constantly dig and scrape and scratch and crawl and fight and doing what you got to do to make real estate deals, right? And if you like this kind of thinking, if you're enjoying this, you should pick up a copy of my book, Addicted to Real Estate, Why I Can't Stop and Why You Should Start. This book is filled with this kind of stuff. I mean, if I don't get you pumped up about real estate after reading this book, Nothing's getting you pumped up. You might want to call your doctor and have your heart checked out, all right? Because you, there's a problem if you don't get psyched after reading this, all right? I'm Mr. Addicted to Real Estate. It's no joke. Hang around with me for a while. Watch this TV show and you'll see it. This book is only $20 for 20 years experience. <laughs> Hell, that's a buck a year. You can invest a buck a year in yourself, can't you? Sure you can. Hey, if this is the first time you're watching this TV show, go to my website, addictedtorealestate.com. Website's below. Put your name and email address in. And then I, that way I can send you these free TV shows uh, whenever I produce them. I try to produce them once a week, uh, you know, if, if I can fit them in. And I give investors great ideas like this to help you get rich. Doesn't that sound good? Sure it does. I'm Phil Falcone, and thanks for watching today's episode.